Hey Flex Tech, I'm Brandon and I'll be your anchor today. Let's get started. The Mentorship Club has begun their St. Patrick's Day fundraiser to raise money for school activities and events. They'll be selling St. Patrick's Day hats, necklaces, wristbands, tattoos, sunglasses, and other fun treats. They look forward to your support. Hey FlexTech, are you looking for something to do? Well, on March 7th at 3.30, there will be a variety show hosted by the students and staff refreshments will be provided. Additionally, if you're interested in joining the Drama Club, they meet on Mondays in room 107 at 2.30. Also, students, here's a little reminder about the school's elevator policy. Only students with documented medical conditions may use the elevator, and only students with a laminated elevator pass may use the elevator. One student at a time is permitted on the elevator. If you have a medical condition requiring the use of the elevator and you do not have an elevator pass, you should see Ms. Travis or Ms. Urban. These policies are in place to ensure that the elevator is not overused, energy is conserved, and is readily available for students, staff, and visitors who are in need of using it. Students who are in violation of this policy could face a loss of privileges including passes during class time. Since the beginning of the year, advisory representatives have been identifying what it means to be a student at FlexTech. After receiving feedback from students and staff, we are excited to announce our FlexTech values. Innovation, creativity, accountability, respect, and empathy, or I care. As we reflect on these values, we think about the type of school community we want to create. FlexTech has been, is, and will always be a community that strives to support all students, regardless of gender identity, race, creed, sexual orientation, or political beliefs. That means that hate in any form that discriminates against any person or any group has no home here. Know that we as a school stand firmly against any slurs, phrases, or symbols that are derogatory or hateful towards any group of people. Every person who enrolls at FlexTech is entitled to feel safe, respected, and seen because they are human and therefore valuable and significant. This includes honoring student identities, even if those are different from our own, being mindful of our own perspectives and beliefs, a commitment to learning from our mistakes and growing to be more aware, inclusive, and kind. We recognize that at a national level, there has been recent legislation that has further marginalized members of the LGBTQ community. While we may not be able to directly change those systems and laws, there are steps we can all take to make sure all feel valued at FlexTech. Here are some actionable steps that you can do or continue to do right now. Speak up when you see or hear slurs, phrases, or symbols that are derogatory or harmful. Tell a teacher, advisor, support staff member, or administrator. Use a student's correct pronouns and name. If you aren't sure, ask. Recognize when you misspeak, apologize, and correct yourself. If you are interested in being more involved in your school or local community, consider joining Flex Tax Equality Club or following the Livingston County Diversity Council on Instagram to learn more about community opportunities and events. Thank you for continuing to make Flex Tech a safe and welcoming community for all. Hey guys, there's a new campaign going on to help tackle the issue of pets in homeless shelters and to help give them a forever and loving home. Here's some more information about this campaign. And while we're on the topic of canine connections, here's an episode of the Hacks of Life about pets.
What are you doing? Looking at pictures of dogs. Oh, yeah, that's right, guys. Today's episode is sponsored by Canine Connections. So, we got a pet friendly episode for you. Hi, I'm Brandon. Hi, I'm also Brandon. And welcome back to the Hacks of Life. And today, we got three pet owning life hacks for you. Do you want a simple way to entertain your dog? Well, just free some treats inside of an ice block. This is especially good on a hot day to keep them hydrated and entertained. Don't want to buy a maze bowl? Try this quick tip. Stop your dog from eating their foods at lightning fast speeds. All you gotta do is put a tennis ball in your dog's food bowl. This will slow them down from eating their food too fast. And it helps them, it helps their stomach a lot better. Did your cat love to sit on your keyboard and get in the way while you're working? Well, just find a cardboard box big enough for them to sit on your desk. That way the cat can be with you and it won't be stepping on your keyboard. It's a win for both of you. Well, that's been this week's edition of Hacks of Life. We'll see you next time. And that's been this week's episode of the Weekly Flex. Have a good one, Flex Stack.